In this video we want to have a look at the web of science, or as it's sometimes known as well, the web of knowledge. So I just click on the link from the library database links to bring us into it. And what we're interested in doing with this database is having a look at the cited reference search. And this is the best website for tracking citations through journal articles, either going backwards in time or forwards in time. So once we click on the cited reference search link, it gives us a small dialog box where we can search by author, by cited work, uh, the journal that it's come from, or the years that are in there. So in this browser I've got two tabs open and I'm going to go back to an earlier search that we did in Business Source Premier. Uh, and we were looking at the article Military Leadership, a context specific review. And this particular article uh, is from the Leadership Quarterly. So the two search terms that I want to bring forward from this is one of the, we'll just bring forward one of the authors, Wong, uh, and we'll bring forward Leadership Quarterly and we'll try and search for them and see what happens. So if we put in Wong in here and we'll put in uh, a star to open up the search term on it. And we'll go to the journal abbreviation list. Have a look under L. For leadership quarterly. And there we are, we just cut and paste that search term. And put it back in there and we do a search for that. And what we find is that this particular order there's a number of articles in Leadership Quarterly uh, by Wong. This is the one that we are interested in. It was in 2003, Volume 14, page 257. You can go back and just check that. Uh, 2003, Volume 14, uh, page 257. So we know we're on to the right one. So just click on View Record. And that brings us into the record uh, for this one. And what we see here is that uh, this article has been cited a number of times and it also has a number of references or it has cited uh, 156 other articles within it. So tomorrow we're going to look at time cited. This is moving forward in time. And we go on in there. Now there's only three citations uh, in there for it, so it's not a highly cited article. It's 2003, so it's been around for a few years, uh, and there have been some citations in there. Uh, we can have a look and see are there any important articles flowing from it. Uh, what we find there, 2006, there's an article that's been cited five times going forward. But none of these a uh, huge amount of citations. But nevertheless, maybe they're interesting in the specific context. So the two things you're looking for is one is are there important articles in there, that is articles that have been cited a number of times, or are there articles that are of particular interest to you. So maybe the human resources and leadership lessons from the military uh, might be one that would be interesting. What you can also do is do a sort by over here, uh, and if you've got a large number of uh, records that you're looking through, this is very helpful, uh, and you can have a little click on time cited, and it'll sort uh, the articles out by the number of times cited, so the most highly cited articles will appear at the top of the list. So we're going to just go back now to this article. We're going to go in and have a look at the number of references in here. So remember these are the ones that this article has cited during it. And this gives us a long list. Now the list that this gives us isn't really much use at all because all it is is just a, uh, a list of the articles in there. It doesn't tell us about citations or anything else. So there's a little way around that and what we can do is go into Find Related Records this creates a list of uh, related records with uh, shared citations uh, in it. And then what we can do is we can go in and we can search them by time cited. And that'll give us important articles that are related to this one, that are in the flow of information coming in or out of that. And what we find is uh, one of the core articles in there, Social Identity Theory and the Organisation, uh, which is one of the seminal articles on the subject, pops up at the top of the list. Uh, it's been cited uh, 608 times since it was published in 1989. Um, in this case as well, this particular database has the full text of the article available. Uh, if it didn't, you could go off and use the SFX link and that would see have we got it available in some other database for, for download. So by using this facility you can move forwards and backwards in time, uh, tracking the citations that fit into the article you were interested in and the ones that come out of it. Really looking to see if we can identify any important nodes uh, in the flow of knowledge as we move through.